There is an old adage in the property world that with increasing deaths, divorces and debt, you see the best opportunities in the property world. And right now, with COVID all around us, we are seeing an increase in all of those three things. So right now, in our view, there is a real opportunity that's going to be presenting itself to investors who are savvy and ready to move in the property space. Salam everybody, I'm Ibrahim from IFG. I used to be a corporate lawyer, but before that, in my gap year, I actually fully qualified and trained as an electrician and refurbished a handful of properties. So property is something that's close to my heart. I'm no longer in the property game, but it's definitely something that I keep a tab on. And 2020 is potentially the year where a lot of people can make a lot of money in the property space. In this video, I share with you why, in our view, property investing is a great option right now. Secondly, how you can get involved in property investing as a Muslim. And then finally, we share our thoughts on timing your entry into the property market. But before we dive in, please do subscribe and hit the bell notification under this video. The key reason why investing in property makes sense right now is because you're gonna get low, low prices. Because as I said at the start, when you have increasing amounts of debt, more people uh, get repossessed because they can't keep up with their payments. And then the bank sells that house on auction for really cheap. You get increasing divorces because everyone's cooped up together and they get divorced after that. But also with increasing debts and increasing unemployment, you see a rise in divorce rates as well and that will lead to house sales. And finally, we have increasing deaths. That's partly due to COVID, but actually much more significantly, it is because of the recession that's coming. When you have a recession, many, many more people die as a result of that. And that leads to lots more houses coming onto the market that will be sold relatively cheaply. So in a nutshell, you're going to see a lot of distressed properties being sold and that means that you're going to get potentially really good rates on those properties. The second key reason why property investing is a great option right now is because you've got really low interest rates and that applies to Islamic mortgages as well because they peg themselves to the LIBOR rate and the base rate and that means that you are going to be getting financing on your property for much cheaper. So for example, if you're getting a buy to let, you're going to have a much greater margin between the rent and the payment that you have to make for that buy to let mortgage every month. And that is more profit for you. Property is a great store of wealth. It is also something that is inflation proof and it actually yields you money if you rent out that property. This is super important in a time of flux such as the one that we're living in right now. So for example, you don't necessarily know exactly where the stock market is going or what other areas of the economy are going. And a safe play for someone who isn't as adventurous is just sticking to property and putting your money there. By the way, I'm not saying at all that property is super, super safe and you can never lose money on it. You definitely can if you have a buy to let and you fail to keep up with a mortgage, for example. And if you are refurbing a property and then selling that, you need to find a buyer, otherwise you're stuck with that property and potentially losing money on it every single month. The first and easy way in which you can get involved in the property space with as little as £100 is by investing on property crowdfunding platforms such as Yielders. If you go onto our Halal Investment Comparison Engine, the link is in the description below, then you can click on property crowdfunding and see a whole range of the options there. And Yielders we recommend as one of the better ones. The second way that you can get involved in property is a bit more hands-on. You'll need a bit more money. It's to buy a buy-to-let property and rent it out. And you'll need a buy-to-let mortgage, an Islamic mortgage, and you can compare that in our Islamic mortgage comparison engine, the link is in the description below. And remember, with a buy to let mortgage, you can even get an estate agent involved so you don't have to manage the day to day affairs of that tenant, but you will still be a little bit more hands on than you would be with something like Yielders. The final way that you can get involved in property is much more hands on. You are actually going to be buying a house 
and refurbishing it and then selling it on at a profit. It is a bit more high risk, but it is also high reward because you will be getting a much bigger profit at the end of it. You can use uh, people like Offer, which is a halal bridge financing company, to buy property of auction. Now that is a game changer. Historically, Muslims have not been able to use Sharia compliant financing to buy properties of auction. And on auction is where you find the best distressed deals. So using our Islamic mortgage comparison engine, where we have the link to offer, you can actually put in an application directly to those guys and they'll get back to you. And then you'll buy a house on auction, refurbish it and get started on your property journey. So when should you actually time your entry into the property market? Well, I think it's going to take a little bit of time for people's uh, savings to run out, for people's health to go down, for their recession to probably start biting, for banks to start the repossession process. So I think right now it's a bit of um, you know stalemate, but towards the end of the year and certainly the first half of 2021, we're going to see a whole spate of distressed properties coming onto the market. So for people who have cash, they are really going to be in a strong position to be able to take advantage of this stuff. Remember, in the global financial crisis, there was a lot of people who bought up property and they made an absolute killing over the next decade. And this could be that opportunity coming around again. That's it for today, folks. Please do let us know in the comments below if you think we're right. Do you think the property market is going to go up or down? We would love to hear from you. Please also like this video and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell notification icon. It really helps us so we can continue making these videos for you.